Jenny with Planner Perfect, and today I am coming back at you with a more inside look on how I use my traveler's notebook and my inserts to plan my life and map out my life. So if this interests you in how to set goals, how to pull from it and put them into your days and execute your goals and be highly successful in everything you map out and set out to do, then this video is for you. Okay, here we are. I have some of my traveler's notebooks and some of my planners. What are my inserts that we sell at Designs with Planner Perfect? This is a Chic Sparrow errand runner that I use for my errands. This is an everyday carry. This is mine that is coming out soon this year. Do you see it? It's going to be gorgeous. This is just a sneak peek, but that's my everyday carry. Let's just put this aside. <clears throat> and it's fun. We have lots of different artwork covers that you can choose from for your planners to plan your life in your traveler's notebook. It's a really beautiful way to plan. So let's just dive right in and go into my October goal, goals and my planning page is gonna show you how I do. So here's our dashboard and it says, hello, October. These are our beautiful calendars. And this is where you would write down your goals for your month and you get several pages. So right here, that was where I planned my wedding for my daughter. These were other goals that I had set specifically for me, and I wrote them out in great detail. Here's Halloween. Um, it's still got pockets of things to still fill in for what we want to do on that day. We're still talking about it. Little tip-ins and a recipe for our favorite puppy chow that we always make. And there's some personal goals. I want to learn how to knit. And I wrote down what kind of yarns and all that. There's some bread and sourdough starter I wanted to make. My plant-based diet I'm following and drinking lots of water. For fall, there are some activities. I write down activities I want to do for the, with the kids since I'm a homeschooling mom. So movies and bowling and stuff like that. Books I want to read, other things I want to tackle. And then there are the daily pages. So the goals were thorough and filled to the brim with just for that month of October. Then I start moving into my daily pages. So when you pull in, right there it says drinking water. Drink your water. So I had pulled from my goals. <clears throat> and right where it says drink plenty of water and why and how much. And then I just pulled from it and sprinkle them into my days so that I accomplish it. So all the heavy hard work is your goal pages and what you want to accomplish. And then you just simply pull and write them and sprinkle them, sprinkle them into your days rather. And, um, that's how you accomplish what you set up to do. So, um, I've been drinking lots of water, by the way, and it's been amazing. So here are just full days where they're detailed out because when you're more detailed with your day, that kind of brain dumping of everything you want to do and why you want to do it, you just put emotion into it and it gets it done. Now, this was the wedding day for my daughter. And right here were all of the things that I needed to do on that day. And I simply just pulled from all of what I had listed out and wanted to do for Maddie's wedding. And so I just pulled from that list and this sprinkled it in over there and it was just a complete success um tip-ins are great to use um or the pumpkins this harvest those are really great and useful get into that in a minute um when you put so much detail in your whys and living your day from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed it's just you're just putting grooves into the brain and programming the subconscious mind to do what you want and so and everything I write out, I want to do it. And so that makes it even more fun. Now here is vegan pizza. Every Friday we do pizza. I make sure I make vegan pizza too for me. And to show you uh, where I had listed it in my goals to make sure that I'm staying plant-based because I feel my best when I am. So I'm just showing you there in the pages where I talked about where I wrote down. Now there's Goosebumps. We saw the movie Goosebumps for the movies. And right there, it says movies. We plan on going to movies. Those are some of the activities we planned on doing in October. So it's kind of just, again, pulling from goals, doing it. That was a fun movie to go to. There's my washi. We sell that in our store. Um, has my artwork on it. It's just beautiful. My stickers, too. Those were fun. You can catch those over at Designs with Planner Perfect as well. Um, just to beautify your bootify. Uh -huh. Your pages 
So here I just am writing in full detail here, knit, okay? Knit again, because I'd already started. So that was a, one day I'd write it down, then there was another page I'd write it down because in my goals, that was one of my goals, to knit. So that's how I accomplish what I set out to do is I just find pockets of days that I have time to do it. And I'm like, hey, I'm gonna pull from that goal page. I'm gonna do this. Here's errands I'm running. Okay, so what I'll do is though, I don't take my everyday carry with me, I take my errand runner. I pull to my errands book. This keeps me so organized, I can't even tell you. With, as a mom of eight kids, it's a game changer. I use a paper clip to pull, me, pull it forward to the most recent page that is ready for me. And I will simply write down the errands for the day. This is the date. I'm going to get all this done. So I just simply list out different errands I need to do and exactly what I'm going to be getting at the place. <clears throat> that there was the bank and there was some a note that I made to myself that I needed to transfer money over to someone else's account. Then also the next was where I was going to be running to Michael's, making sure I print out my coupon and then my 40% and because I was getting more knitting needles. So I needed to write that down of things I was going to pick up there. This travels with me in my purse, making this the perfect system for being organized. So I made sure I wrote down everything I needed to do and get it, Michaels. And reminding myself to print out my coupon. <laughs> then I head on over to, since Mondays are my grocery day, I got out my grocery menu book. This is where I write out, there's my paper clip. Push all the papers over so I have a nice fresh sheet to work with. Okay, so here now we're going to, you know, this is where my grocery list is. So I've got my menu, I've got, um, and I categorize it according to the layout of the grocery store. So I've got produce here and all that. So this basically is what, you know, gets me to the store. I open it up flat. It's just an easy everyday carry that you take with me. Take with you, put in your purse, and you have, you're just organized. So that way you don't need to write anything that's detailed and listing out within your planner. And I have my menu down um, that matches what I have listed in my errand runner down in my planner as well. So here's pages that are yet to be. This is this week. So I like to just each day kind of go in there and see how I want to, what we want to do, and I'll come back and fill it in. And so there's the tip-ins and what you can do too is you can write notes in the back if you need to. I just love doing that. Sometimes I journal on the back of them of something that was fun that happened that day. Um, but that is my October planner that is filled to the brim. Goals, daily pages. There's the new setup for my traveler's notebook that'll have upright pockets, enough to hold stickers and tip-ins. It's gorgeous. This is a beautiful, beautiful um, traveler's notebook that will be available soon at Designs by Planner Perfect. There you have it, you guys. Thank you for watching and have a great day.